Hey lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing God Tarot here today for your daily double for December the 11th, 2022. So you guys know how this works by now. Um, basically, in a minute, I'm going to have you pause the video and I want you to go into your mind and I want you to ask the question, something that you need to know at this moment, something that has been worrying you, stressing you. I want you to ask that question in your mind and I want you to keep it in your mind. And then once you are done and you are sure of your question, then I want you to push play. And hopefully I will be shuffling <laughs> and hopefully I'll lay your answer down for you. Okay. Now, happy birthday to all of my people whose birthday is in the month of December. Remember, as long as it's your birthday month, you automatically qualify for the birthday 60. Hit me up at allseeingadtarot at gmail.com to book your reading. If you look in the drop down box right up under this video, it will show you December special and as well as the pricing for all the readings, okay? But if you have a question and you want to know how things work, you could always hit me up at allseeingadtarot at gmail.com and I will help you, okay? For those of you that would like to donate during this beautiful season, Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, you can donate on Cash App, the money sign, All Seeing I Tarot, and on PayPal, All Seeing I Tarot at Yahoo.com. Okay? That will be right at the bottom of the video, uh, just to make sure you understand. All Seeing I Tarot at Gmail is for bookings of readings and for donations on PayPal. It goes through All Seeing I Tarot at Yahoo.com. Okay? All right, pause the video and start formulating your question. Spirit and universe. I ask that you tap into the collective right now. I ask that you would answer the questions of those people who are stressed, depressed, worried, sick, out of their mind, can't sleep because they need this answer. I give you full permission to use me to give them an accurate and honest answer to their question so that they may be able to make a wise decision for their future, for their highest good. Okay, let's see. Three more. If you, if a girl, girls and guys, if you could hear what's going on in my head as I am shuffling these cards, it's like a whole bunch of people just talking and asking questions everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. First card out, the moon. The Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Four of Swords, one more, Three of Pentacles, and I'm being led to flip the bottom card for the overall energy. The star. I kind of knew it would be the star. <sighs> Which represents hope. Wishing on a star. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I paused the video and I pulled some cards. Well, unfortunately, I only have one answer today. Okay. Um, one thing that Spirit really wants to talk about with you guys um, or the person that's dealing with this situation, okay? So let's just talk for a minute. All bullshit aside, all right? You know who you are. You're in a very volatile, toxic relationship in which you believe that one day it's going to get better. You keep thinking back to how your partner used to be when you first met and you have been using that vision or that visual 
of when you first met that person and the good that they treated you, the way that they loved you. And you keep telling yourself, you know, I can, if I just change this about myself, maybe they'll love me again. Um, let me say this. Usually people that are, that will stay in situations like that, it, most of the time it comes from their past. It comes from never feeling accepted, never feeling beautiful, um, always feeling as if you had to work for the attention of your parents, for your uh, family's love and adoration, okay? And you have rolled that up into the adult that you've become and you're still showing behaviors of that same toxicity. If nobody ever told you, let Bella tell you. You are beautiful. You are loved. And just because you don't see it in this partner that you're dealing with does not mean that someone else doesn't see it. You're asking, should I leave? The only conflict with that is that I can see that spirit has sent people to help you to get out of your situation. But what good is sending people to help you get out of your situation if you're just going to go back to it? You know, you have a real deep embedded fear that if you leave this person, you're not going to be able to make it on your own. So I'm going to say this to you. Who told you that it was going to be on your own that you had to make it? Because I honestly don't see you being on your own if you leave this person actually see a beautiful loving relationship beautiful soulmate that you're going to roll over into once you let go of this person there's a situation that's coming up okay very soon you need to be looking out for this okay it's going to look like help it might not look the way you expected it to look like okay so so for instance it could be that um you talk to someone and they tell you that you can come stay with them until you get your life together. Now, you might have seen it as, you know, you move into your own house, okay? Or I'm going to leave as soon as I get a job. Or I'm going to leave as soon as I get enough money saved up. You better get out any way that God throws you a helping hand, okay? Because this is a situation where I feel like the next time is going to be the last time. And, and I'm being as blunt and honest as I can give it to you. You have children to live for. You have your family that loves you. Don't be so selfish to where you don't care about yourself so much that you would let this person beat you to a pulp and kill you is selfish for all the other people that you still have to meet in your life that that you haven't even met yet okay like this helping hand that's going to come to you it's not going to look the way you want it to look but trust me on this you may feel like you're a coward for the way that you handled things, like because you had to run and you had to run in the middle of the night. But you saved your life when you did. Okay? So I'm remote viewing this, so I see how this plays out for you. There's going to be help coming. And when it comes, I just want you to get up and trust it and just move. As soon as it tells you to move, okay? As soon as the person calls you on the phone, offers you a place to live, as soon as that shelter opens up, you know, and will hide you from that person, whatever it is. I just need you to run and just jump. You know, like double dutch, you know how the ropes are swinging? Now, you don't know if you're going to get smacked in the face by one of those ropes. But you jump in, and you jump on faith, and, and next thing you know, you're picking up your feet, and you're going with the flow, okay? And, and you're not getting hit by the ropes. You're right in the middle. I need you to just jump, okay? Don't worry about... Am I ever going to find another husband? Am I ever going to find another wife? Nobody's going to want me. Because I promise you, if you jump this coming year, it's going to come so fast. Like, 
I never seen anything like this to where, you know, you get out of a toxic, violent relationship and then spirit gives you a beautiful partner in return. I, I never seen it happen that quick for as quick as it's going to happen for you. Okay. And you won't have to worry about this person. All right. Um, it's even possible that this person goes to jail. All right. And you might need to stand up and press charges. Okay. And when you press charges, I don't want you to be in fear. I don't want you to think that they're going to come back and kill you because they're not. This is a hand that God has given you. God is giving you this hand and you better take it. Okay. Because God says to me, I've given her many chances. Many chances. God's given you many chances, many opportunities that would give you exactly what you want, but you didn't take it. You stayed. Okay? So I'm telling you, you're going to be okay, I promise. All right? If you can just trust me, you're going to be okay. But when the hand comes, and you'll see it, it may even come in another little tiny fight, all right? And the police come and they ask you, are you being hit by this man? I want you to say yes, right then and there. And they take him to jail and they say, you got to come down to press charges. I want you to go to every hearing. Every hearing, you got to go. I don't want you to be in fear. Every hearing, you make sure they keep him or her because... It's not only a man, you know, I, I see two women going through this, you know, where, where you got a, a, the girl's like a boy, like a stud, you know, and, and she's extremely violent. She does some wicked shit to you. Okay. And she has the potential to kill you. I see more female on female than I see more women being afraid of men. Okay. I'm telling you, just do it jump just jump just close your eyes and just jump okay and move with it you know i'm saying if it comes because there's different scenarios for this story you know it's not just one person going through this it's a lot of you so there's different scenarios, you know, some is going to come in a small fight and then the police come and they ask you do you want to press charges on her? Hell yes. And you go to every hearing and you go go and get the, what is it, 48 hours or something like that. And then I need you to go down there and extend it. And then I need you to go to the court hearing. I, she needs to stay. He needs to stay. Okay? Seriously. You usually back away from this. And this, I'm telling you, if you back away, I'll be watching you on the next YouTube video. I, I'm so serious. And that's going to break my heart. Because I'm warning you. When a student is ready, the teacher will appear. I'm warning you. Some of you, it may come in a form of a person you meet. They live out of town. And you're like, how in the hell am I going to get to where you're at? And they're telling you, listen, I'll pay for your ticket. Just get on a plane. And you got to run out in the middle of the night. With the clothes you got on your back, just go. Just go. You are going to be so surprised how God has your back because you just took a leap of faith and said, I ain't got no clothes. I ain't got no money. I'm just going to go, Lord, because I, I felt like, you know, you're talking through this woman, Bella. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. When the hand comes, it's time to go. I love you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry I didn't have another story, but this is very important. This is like of priority, of top priority, okay? This is like days away, literally, all right? This is a immediate need. Make sure you like, make sure you give me the thumbs up, definitely. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If this is your story and you need a little bit more encouragement because you're afraid, book a personal reading. I'll work around your schedule. You can't talk because she's there. You can't talk because he's there. Listen, I'm up all night. I'll come through whatever I got to come through to get you. Yes, I will. I'm crazy like that. 
Okay? I'm telling you. Hit me up. All seeing I tarot at gmail.com. I do not want to see you on YouTube. Spouse kills the other spouse. I, I don't want to see that. Okay? I love you much. If you can, guys, make sure you donate. It will be very useful right now. I would be so appreciative. Okay? I never ask for donations, but I've been doing this for so long. And right now, YouTube ain't paying me shit. So I need to help. That's why I'm asking for donations. Okay? And then when you donate, please leave your name or your email so I can thank you personally. I might have a message for you. All right? So leave your email. Okay? I love you guys. And I'll see you again tomorrow on the 12th.